guys and welcome to episode one of my new series on Minoria Skyblock and this is a spawn that has been created for us so that you guys can get a feel of what's going on what things are happening like our donors our our islands our top islands now we've been open for about six hours now and uh, yeah so let's get into it you type slash is it creates you an island you get to choose between three islands you have the original island which is basically just a bunch of dirt with a little bit of sand and an, a chest with a few starter items in it or you could have the island duo which is a uh, two islands one island has got sandstone and sand and a few other bits and pieces and the island you spawn on has got stone and grass and a little bit of a uh, little bit of coal and some iron and a few other bits and pieces or you can start on the black diamonds island which basically has a a tree a little bit of dirt a little bit of sand um, some lava and some ice now personally I like the island duo so I'm gonna go to that one um, this is the island duo you also start with a chicken on this one and it's called lady cat 79's chicken this time and it just happens to be nighttime and raining which is brilliant for my luck um, this is what's in the starter chest now when you join our server make sure that you do not do any kits before you start your island because your inventory will clear now um, I've done this so that if you decide to restart your island it just stops um, stops resource boosting basically and makes it a bit easier um, but yeah uh, I will get back and I'm going to do a little bit off camera because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see um, mining and oh actually how about I start by making a cobble gen so you can see how a cobble gen is made and then we'll get into the whole um, bit of mining a, a bit of mining off camera because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see that oh and there's bedrock so let's put our ice there because you always start off with some ice and if I break the ice and then break this piece of glass and uh, glass <laughs> grass there's our cobble gen and you can just mine from that <laughs> so um but yeah i'm gonna do some afk mining and yeah and i'll come back and you can see where we've been up to and yeah welcome back and as you can see i've cleared out some of my island so it's it's a little bit flatter wow most of the stuff <laughs> that was sticking up is gone i i've removed the fences because i'm going to be fencing in my chicken <laughs> because i don't want it falling off the island and i don't really want it actually i'm going to remove my lava for a second because i don't want it to fall in the lava either um, I've also done my kit pawn. Everybody has kit pawn. It basically gives you some basic necessities like uh, proc one, protection one, and breaking one armor. It gives you some stone tools, an iron sword, and stuff like that. Now, I thought I would show you some of the things that we've done like we have challenges we have custom challenges and um, i have two ready to complete so i thought i'd complete them on camera so to check your challenges you do slash c and hit enter it'll bring up the GUI, and each of these is a different challenge and if you hover over them it'll tell you what you need to do the two that i've got is actually crafting table and furnace so that's the beginnings one so to complete it you just click it and it'll come up and check that it's been collect, uh, collected um, and the furnace one which is called the next step that's also another one now there are 
challenges that will take stuff out of your inventory and you won't get it back but those two are the pretty easy ones and they they will basically stay in your inventory because it's your startup ones anyway I'm I'll be back after I have done a bit more and ready to open a few more challenges and I will see you soon well guys I've been mining for around 20 minutes now just collecting resources and stuff and chopping the tree down when it grows and uh, I've been putting the coal in here and smelting down the stone because stone bricks is actually better for a sky block island than what cobblestone is um, and so what I'll be doing next as soon as I've got enough is I will be going and expanding on the island I'm going to build out a platform of uh, stone bricks and possibly mine out I want to do it at bedrock level so it'll be there's my piece of bedrock there so it'll be at that level that I'll be building and everything under it will be gone and all that um, so I'm slowly smelting all of the cobblestone that I get from this I will smelt all the gold and the iron and and all that sort of stuff because um, uh, the blocks that you get from them like when you put together your iron ingots and you make blocks they actually give you a fair bit of island level which is good because you want to increase your island level because again that's part of the challenges um, I need to make a infinite water source because that's another challenge <laughs> where you basically have an infinite water source oh excuse me um, and I will be making my way over to that island at some point just not yet um, but yeah it's 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 a little bit tedious doing a lot of mining and stuff um, but it's worth it <laughs> or at least I think it's worth it because you get all the iron uh, all the iron listen to me you get all the the materials and stuff like I have two diamonds already so I'll be making myself a diamond sword very soon just to protect myself from all the mobs and that that are going to start spawning um, like I said I will improve the cobble gen um, so that it's not like this like this isn't very efficient because you actually lose a fair bit into the lava so <laughs> like that bit so I'll be making a cobble gen that will basically uh, you won't lose the items and we have another mod uh, um, mod listen to me we have another plugin installed that if your inventory ever gets full and you're mining um, then you have slash backpack or slash BP and it opens a backpack and anything you drop will come into this backpack and not everybody starts out with one this size um, I think you start with one line in your backpack and then every rank you go up a line basically anyway um, I'm going to do a little bit more mining and I'll come back once I've started on the platform and uh, I'll go from there and then I'll start making my cobble gen and I will show you how I make it and if you want to uh, if you want to copy it you can it's up to you I don't mind <laughs> um, but yeah oh ouch that hurt um, I'll be back in a few uh, in a little bit bye hey guys well as you can see I've built a little bit of a platform but I decided to uh, take out my cobble gen so I'm hoping I have enough blocks if I don't I'll have to possibly remake my cobble gen but this is actually set up to make a stone generator not a cobble generator so I just need to add something else there and it'll be a stone generator um, but anyway let's go and see if I can't get my cobble gen to be uh, 
basically automated. So I've put chests here so that if you do break down, um, you're not going to wreck your cobble gen by it going through the ground. Um, and uh, pistons cannot push uh, anything with a inventory. So that's furnaces, uh, chests, hoppers, um, I don't know what else, but definitely those three things they can't. Let's start by building up like this. Because this is this is where the generator is going to be, is, is here. Right, uh, let's put that there, that there, that there, and that there. And then we're going to build up two. And like so. I haven't made any pistons. Okay, I, I will make those in a minute. Right. This here is where what's going to hold the water for the cobble generator um, and then your lava will be down the middle um, but I need to do this bit first which is the water um, because I need to be able to put the pistons in and the pistons obviously go here but this is just building up so that you can put the pistons in. So you put build around like this and all the way around because this is where um, this is basically holding in your water or is going to hold in your water um, uh, yes I do have fly <laughs> um, but that's just uh, because I am staff on the server um, if I wasn't staff, obviously I wouldn't have fly unless I've bought a rank. One of the ranks gives you fly. I can't remember which one off the top of my head to tell you the truth. Um, I think it's Sky Raider that gives you fly. Um, so if you go down to here, see if you try and break that with a pick, it, it really doesn't work very well. Um, but yeah, okay, let's get rid of all of these so that I can put the pistons in like so and this one um, we will make some normal pistons you don't want sticky pistons for this you really don't want sticky pistons for this okay, I think I've got enough items in my inventory for it okay put all that there you want we want four pistons two three four like that which is basically like so and there's our pistons all right now our pistons are gonna go one two three four like that now you want to put your cobble down oh uh, your block down your building block down um simply because when you put your lava in right so your water goes here it goes down two blocks and i think it needs to go hold on let me think oh i've done this wrong hold on I have done this wrong. Okay, let's bring these up one. There and there. Okay, and we go there, 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 all the way around. Like so. Uh, get rid of this one. And we want to put our pistons in these gaps like that yeah that's better you need that 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 two block gap for the water um, otherwise there's not enough room for the lava um, yeah uh, the, the basically the water's got to be one block lower than what the lava is for it to work. Ugh. 
I'm being a butterfingers, I'm messing it up. Um, but yeah, so you do this like so, make sure all that's sorted. Then you get your bucket, in this case my, I only have one bucket so it's got my lava in it. So I'm going to place my lava first. Got to make sure there's enough room here for you to mine. I'm pretty sure there is. Put that there. So your lava goes there. And then your water goes in these four slots. That's one. Two. Three. One more. That's four. Like so. Uh, you want to cover this um, just so that uh, there's no chance of you um, falling into the lava and then you get redstone. Now you don't have to go all the way around because all you're really doing is just powering the pistons. So I generally go around like this. Um, but if you do want to go all the way around um, you can, and I'll, sh I'll show you something that you can also do. You can either make a standalone redstone clock, or what you can do is you can break some of this redstone. Uh, that one. Make sh just make sure that when you do this, that you're not breaking this middle one, because that's the one that will be powering your pistons. Um, so you do that. And then you come here and you need four repeaters. So for four repeaters, that's eight redstone torches, like so, with some stone. There's your repeaters. You do that. And then your repeaters just go one there. Make sure they're all going the same way or this won't work. Uh, set them all to four ticks. Well, it doesn't have to be four ticks, but I find four ticks works well because it's a nice delay um, for the lava to actually go down to flow beside the water to create the cobblestone. Otherwise, it's just that the pistons fire too fast and you don't want that to happen. That's that's not good <laughs> if that happens. Um, and then all you just really want is another torch, just one, like so, and put a block out here. This is just to set off your, there we go, and it's going. And then you just stand here basically, and mine all the blocks that come down, like so. And there's your cobble gem. Now, sometimes it, it can be a tiny bit buggy on a server. On a single player world, it isn't. Now, the reason there's a torch in there, in the middle, is so that mobs don't spawn in there because it gets incredibly dark when this is, um, like, not active. It does get really dark. Um, and this just mines a lot faster than just the one block and the, it's basically no loss because all your cobble and all your um, ores and all that stuff are just going all the way around um, to make it completely 100% um, not um, loss proof, no, to make it 100% loss proof, um, instead of chests, you'd put hoppers, but uh, the only way to get hoppers on the server is with uh, Minoria tokens, and um, Minoria tokens, uh, I will be putting, will be putting them in for our chat reactions, which is what I was just trying to get, and I didn't get it. Somebody else got it before me. Um, uh, yeah, I, I might put 
I'm going to put those in the uh, chat reaction so that way you'll also be able to get tokens through voting um, but right now because we've literally just opened voting's not quite open yet um, it will be in the next couple of days which is good um, and yeah anyway uh, that's about it for this one um, I think I can do one more challenge right now and I think it's that one yep there you go I completed that challenge so I'll be going through I'll be doing a few things off camera um, uh, nightmare will be joining me on my island at at some point as well as Lord Gallo um, I don't know if they'll be recording but uh, it's definitely going to be a different series on here um, my first series so it's it's going to be good and my poor island over there um, I if you're wondering I started with the Dua Island um, and because I haven't gone over there yet, all the mobs are spawning over there. So, um, a bit more of this will be done. Um, I'll possibly, my next video, I'll possibly have this platform sorted a bit better than what I have currently. Um, and like I said, I'll have a Nightmare on here as well helping me. And um, I think that's it for today's video. Uh, sorry, it's been a bit of a um, what's the word? A, a, a bit of a cutscene type thing, um, but I, I thought it'd be good for a first video, just just simply because um, you don't want me. <laughs> I, I don't know if you want to sit there and just watch me mine for like twenty minutes <laughs> and just get all the resources and that. Um, I thought it would just be better just give you updates on what's happening and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, I'm Lady Cat 79 and I will catch you in my next video and possibly in my next one I might have somebody else joining me. So I will see you guys later. Bye.